When developing your Flutter app, you'll likely aim to support various platforms and screen sizes. Each platform has its own design standards and user expectations, which are essential to consider. However, this doesn't mean you need to sacrifice a flexible layout that adapts to different situations. Flutter offers a complete toolkit for building responsive apps that look great and function well across diverse devices, screen dimensions, and orientations. Let's explore how to use these tools. Getting to know the user's device with Media Query. In Flutter, Media Query is a helpful widget that supplies details about the device and its limitations. It enables you to access various device properties like orientation, screen dimensions, pixel density, and other useful information. Create a new Flutter project to learn responsive application development. Then, add a new Dart file named Responsive Screen for our experiments. Inside it, create a stateless widget to explore media query. In the main file, call the new responsive screen widget within the body and import the file as well. Run the app. In the build function of responsive screen, return a center widget. Now, let's check how to retrieve the device's width, height, and orientation using Media Query. Width and height return double values, while orientation returns the orientation type either portrait or landscape. We can print the values, width is 393, height is 852, and orientation is portrait. You can use this code to check the width and height of your device and then comment it out when done. I then switched to the Chrome browser, and it showed different height and width values. When we adjust the browser's height, the printed output updates accordingly, and it does the same when adjusting the width. Next, let's create a container widget inside the center widget dot. Set the container's color to blue and include a text widget inside it to display the screen width and device orientation.
For orientation, we'll use a ternary operator to check if it's portrait or landscape, displaying the appropriate text. Initially, we'll set a fixed width and height for the container dot. When viewed on another device, such as a tablet or in a different orientation, this fixed size may not be ideal. Dot. In that case, we'll apply sizes as a percentage of the screen using Media Query. Set the container width to 80% of the total width. Dot. Adjust the height based on orientation using a ternary operator. If the orientation is portrait, set it to 30% of the height, otherwise, set it to 50%. This example demonstrates the basics of using Media Query. Now, run the app and observe that when the orientation changes, it works as expected. Next, we will explore additional options available in Media Query, such as Device Pixel Ratio and Padding. Device Pixel Ratio represents the ratio between physical pixels and logical pixels on the device screen. Padding gives the padding information, including top, bottom, left, and right padding values. After running the app, we can see that the device pixel ratio is 3 here, and the top padding is currently 0. Let's try another example to demonstrate the practical use of Media Query. Create a new file called Layout Example. Inside this file, define a stateless widget named Layout Example. Use the media query object to get the device screen size. Create a function, underscore get cross axis count, which returns an integer based on the device width. This will determine the display arrangement. If the screen width is greater than 1200, it returns 4. 
If it's greater than 800, it returns 3. If it's greater than 600, it returns 2. Otherwise, it returns 1. Inside the build function, return a grid view with a cross axis count set by the underscore get cross axis count function using screen size.width. Use list.generate to create a list of 12 green containers with text showing the count. In main Dart. Replace the responsive screen widget with layout example. Import the new file and remove the old one. Run the app. When running the app on Chrome, for containers are displayed in each row, as the screen width is greater than 1200. Changing to a device with a smaller width displays fewer containers per row based on the width criteria. For example, a device with a 393px width shows one container per row. Changing the orientation to landscape increases the width to 852px, showing three containers per row as it exceeds the 800px threshold. This is a practical example of responsive design in Flutter. We'll be back soon with another video on creating adaptive layouts. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching.